Left a good job in the city Working for the man every night and day But I never lost a minute of sleep in Hey everybody, good to be with you. Aaron here. Thank you so much for joining. We're going to do Proud Mary by CCR. Let's take a look. Song's also got a great rendition by Tina Turner. You can uh, use inspiration from either one. So uh, what I want to start with on this one is actually the chords, and I'm going to focus just on the chords of the verse because that can really get you a long way. If you want to learn the chords of the intro and the instrumental, it's a little more complicated, the rhythm's a little bit more challenging, and there's a few more chords there. So let me show you this first part. If you really like it, then you can dedicate the time to learning those other parts, okay? So let's look first at the chords we're going to use. Three chords that make up the verse uh, and the chorus, so, so to speak, of this song. What we're going to do, uh, the, let's look over the chords first. So uh, first chord is a D chord, and we're going to do it in second inversion in our right hand. So A, D, and F sharp. This is middle C right there, by the way. And then in our left hand, we're going to use an octave, the D octave, okay? So that's what the D chord is going to look like when we play it. The next chord we're going to get to is an A chord. We're going to come here for the A chord, A and E, and then A, C sharp, and E in our right hand, okay? And then we're going to slide up to the B minor, B and F sharp, B, D, and F sharp for the B minor chord. When you get to that B minor chord, you could you could do a G chord if you want also. Either one of those chords, the B kind of the B minor sounds a little bit more colorful. Okay? And then back to the D chord. Alright, so those are the chords that make up the verse. And let's look at a rhythm that we're gonna use for it. To do it real simple, just hold those chords. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day And I never lost a minute of sleep And worrying about the way things might have been Big wheel keep on turning Proud Mary keep on burning We was rolling, rolling, rolling on a river Okay, that's pretty cool uh, you could do uh, on the fours. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. But I never lost a minute of sleep. And I was worrying about the way things might have been. Big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. more complex. Now what I want to show you how to do is we're going to do a little bit of a driving thing in our left hand. We're going to play the one, two, three, four. Let's do an accent and let the left hand carry it so it's like this. Left a good job in the city. Okay, pretty simple to do that. The hard part that I want to get us to though is where we're going to be on the off beats on our right hand. Notice my left hand is still doing the same thing. One, two, three, four. My right hand's hitting on the end. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. And I never lost a minute of sleep and worrying about the way things might have been. farther with it then what you're going to do is you're going to leave out the three here so instead of going two three four one two three four you're going to go one two three, four one two three, four that create 
that little gap in there creates some rhythmic interest. And that's what rhythm is, is it's really the absence of sound. Uh, you know, you've got the accents and the hits, but it's the where the silence is, is what really makes it interesting. So you can go from the, you know, playing on each note and then work on holding back on uh, three. Okay, so it would be like this. I'm oh, sorry. Left a good job in the city. Then you go into verse two and all the other verses, it's exactly the same. So that is the verse, that's the heart of the song. And then what the other part is that makes it interesting is the intro, which is the same as the uh, instrumental. So let's take a look at that. If you've come this far, you might as well stick around and give it a try. All right, so first the chords that we're gonna play for the instrumental, it's a C chord. I'm gonna play it here. I'm just gonna play a single note in my left hand and a C and second inversion, okay? And then we're gonna to go to an A chord and I'll play the fifth here in my left hand, A and E, A, C and E. And those alternate back and forth two times. And then on the third time you do it, but you're gonna to go to a G chord, okay? G fifths here, G, B, D, and then down on F chord, F, C, and then eventually you're going to end up on the D chord, which you could do here to start, and then you're going to want to get up here for the verse when you do it, okay? And just as a general note, anytime you start singing, when you got a real busy intro like this, and then you start singing, you want to simplify. You want it to be quieter, or you want to be doing less, and then you allow the the parts where the instrumental or the other things happen, your solos and so on, that's when the activity happens. Uh, but when you're singing, you simplify and you pull back, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. Um, so now let's talk about the rhythm on these chords, all right? And it's really tricky. I tried counting it out for me, like for you ahead of time, and I tried to figure it out. And it's like, you know what? You just got to feel it, play with it, and feel it. And it goes like this. <laughs> That's where it'll be and let me do it again a little slower now it's two c's and then the a's are on the off beat so it's like a one and and then and 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 then uh the walk down happens and i'll show you a little trick for getting from the f to the d okay so one more time real slow okay again one more time Notice when I get down to that F, I do a rock with my right hand. This is the little trick. That little offbeat for the four and four, one helps you to find that downbeat on the D. Okay, so again. The gist of the song, that's the uh, intro, that's the verses, and then the bridge as well. There's a solo in there. The solo happens over the chords of the verse. It's exactly the same. And then you end with just rolling, 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 rolling on a river. And it's, it's on that D there at the end, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. I've got a song coming out on Spotify soon. Hope you'll uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the description so that you can find it. It'll be on all major streaming platforms. But uh, also, don't hesitate to check out my author page on Amazon. Would love to have you guys read my books there. Would love to hear what you think. There's a great chord book on there that was recently expanded that will really be a lot of help. All right. Thank you again for watching. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.